Please work quietly and follow along. At any point, click the pause button to catch up or take a break. Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to build a form, such as an animal. I'll be doing a bear um, out of newspaper and tape. This is a really common um, art to do because it's just amazing. Newspaper allows you to make all different shapes. So like spheres, cubes, and whatever particular shape you need, okay? And you'll see how I attach those different shapes to create something recognizable like the bear I was talking about. So I like to start with one piece of newspaper and I have a bunch on the side just so I can kind of keep my forms going. And you're gonna need a roll of masking tape. It's very helpful to have a few pieces of tape already pre-cut. I'm going to be sticking them on my table so you can see them that they're there. Okay. And you're going to want them, eh, I don't know, a little about that length. You can even have some long ones off to the side. Okay. For this video, when I'm ripping tape, I use the edge of the table. So it's kind of off the screen. I kind of pull it, tape it on and then rip. Always good to have a couple pre-done. Now I'm going to be making the head of my bear first. I just do that by simply crumpling up the newspaper into a ball. You don't need to squish it so it's really tight. I leave mine a little loose or fluffy so that way I can mold it and always make it smaller. Okay. See I have a couple loose ends. It's not going to keep its form. So that's when I would take my pieces of tape and go across so that way they're taped down. And I would kind of just do that all the way around my form, wherever it starts to unpeel. And you, if you're really good, you'll get multiple sections of the newspaper that unpeels in, with one piece of tape. I like to go around, usually four is good. Here I have four. And it kind of helps just keep the general shape. That's all you need for starters, okay? Um, this is a really good size for my bear's head. I'm now going to make three more of these for my body and then I'll put them together. So I need one more piece of paper. If you have a longer piece of tape, it, you can wrap it a little bit more so it kind of counts as like two pieces in one. Now here's my newspaper. It's starting to really unfold right there. So that's where I'm gonna tape down next. Bring it all the way around until it's held in place. Staying good, I'm gonna put it off to the side. Next piece of paper. Awesome, and I am need more tape. So you'll find that you'll go through tape pretty often. And it's always good to have some ready pieces in various sizes. Okay. And that's actually staying pretty good. So one, two, and one more. Okay, so that's how you make like a basic um, ball or sphere in with paper and tape. Now, I always like to start with the ball because you can mold it into anything. If I want it narrower or if I want it, you know, all different, these different shapes, even flatter. This is a really good shape to start with. For the, my bear and for my bear's body, I'm gonna be putting three of these together, just like this. And I'll show you how to attach these in just a little bit. I'm gonna explain to you artists why I'm doing this and breaking the bear's body up into three different sections. If the bear's head's right here, a bear has a shoulder, an abdomen or a stomach, and then usually the back legs and hips are in the back. So the body naturally is broken into these three different pieces and allows the bear to actually look like it's moving and that it has that correct form. 
Let's talk about how to attach these. So I'm gonna just get a few more pieces of tape, but I'm gonna do some smaller pieces. There you go. This will start us out. I'm gonna attach this one like this for starters. So we'll put this one off to the side. You could go across each like this. There we go. And do a little check. It's pretty secure, but I'm gonna finish up with my last one. There we go. That's pretty good. We just wanna get a basic hold on it. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Line it up the way you want it and tape across. Now you don't want any gaps. We don't want it like this. Okay, that's not gonna do you really good. It's gonna become a weak spot in your form. Make sure your forms are kind of sucked in tight. And you can always press the tape down to the newspaper because we want it attached to the newspaper. Let's try another side here. There we go. That tape is gonna wanna lift where there is no newspaper touching and that kind of creating like a bridge. There we go. And lastly, there, not too bad. We'll have to put a little bit more tape there eventually, but let's build onto the bear first. Here's my head. Now I want my head a little smaller. Do you see why I didn't scrunch it all the way? Because now I have some leeway in the sides. I want my head a little smaller than my body. So now comparing it to the body, I can make it smaller. To save the size, of the newspaper. I'm gonna tape it down now a little tighter and that will force the newspaper to kind of stay there. I'm gonna go the other way. There we go. And I'm gonna compare it to my body. That looks pretty good actually. So, and I don't like that how this part of my circle sticks out so I'm just gonna push it in with my thumbs. And that created a really good pocket for my head. Now I want my hair, my bear's head kind of down, like it's sniffing the ground or something. So that's where I'm gonna attach that right there. When you're taping, think about how you can fill in those gaps too. So I'm gonna go right across that so that there's not a hole there. I'm hitting two birds, one stone there, artist. Doing multiple things at once. There we go. And one last side. Okay, it looks a little rough now, but I promise you it's gonna look real good. Okay, so I'm gonna just um, go back with some tape, but I just wanna fill in some of these gaps and really start to finalize the basic form of this. It needs a little few more pieces of tape. See how that piece kind of shifted forward? There we go. You can just tell there's some looser areas. Right here. Now I can always go across like this to, to um, hide that gap. There we go. And I'm just gonna go across the body this way. There, a little bit better. Now um, for the head, they have like an indent where their eyes are similar to we do. So I'm gonna push that in. Also when I do that, I'm creating more of the snout or the nose of the bear and the mouth. And I want that to stay like that. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape just like that, kind of over that. There. I can always add on more for the nose, but I'm gonna to start to build the basic head shape. And I want this smaller under here, so see why I'm crunching it? There you go. Now everyone's is going to be a little bit different, so you'll have to shape it as you need and how you desire. And also bears have more skin in your head. There we go. Much better already, just that little bit we took. Okay. We're gonna move on to the legs now, and you can construct the legs however you want. This is just how I do it. Getting one sheet of newspaper again, and I'm going to fold it in half, and then I'm just gonna kind of fold in half again. Whoop. Okay, I'm gonna sheet of newspaper. I'm gonna put it so you can see it. I like to just kind of fold really roughly. And then it's not quite a ball, but it's also not quite, we're just rolling, it's got a little fluff to it, just like this. 
So I kind of rolled and crinkled it at the same time. Okay, artists. Now, I didn't have any pieces of tape ready, so if you can't, don't have that ready, let it decrinkle. to your bear and say, ooh, that's kind of long. I can either cut some off or I can just crunch it up. Not a big deal. But for right now, I'm just gonna tape and kind of get it all secured. I'm going to flatten one end of this crunchy tube and that way it can lay flat along the side of my bear. And I'll also have a nice place to attach it. So let's attach the leg. I'm gonna go across this. So that way I'm attaching it to the left and right side where I want it. And then I can go up and down on the leg, just like that. Make sure that when you attach it, you're doing a very good job. And we also get the underside. Look how weak this could be. What I like to do is come around and kind of wrap. So it's touching underneath the belly. And then I usually go back and you can do one of these to bring it towards. And then I like to do one of the cut across kind of things like that, just to make sure it's nice and secure. That's a pretty big leg, but I can cut it off later. I'm gonna make three more and then I'll get back to you. all our four legs to my bear and I have a couple spots that are a little weak because I was trying to get it to stand as part of the challenge so I'm just gonna add that right here okay now we're looking at this obviously my legs are a little long right this looks more like a gorilla than it does a bear so what I like to do is I like to just take some scissors and cut it down now because this isn't too thick I can cut right through it I actually start with my very first one Hmm. Now, I could also, you know, push these up so they'd be more like paws, but for this, for my personal preference, I'm just gonna cut them off. When you cut, you're gonna find the length that I'm thinking right about here. I can always make it shorter. Now, I'm actually putting and opening up the scissors really wide, and I'm pushing this all the way to the back, my newspaper. There we go. And I'm gonna try to get all four of my legs as even as possible. That will, you know, give me more of a chance that it will stand on its own. There we go. There. And this one. I'm gonna make my back legs just a hair longer because bears have longer back legs. And I like to use those scraps to build all my small details. Don't throw those away right away. You can always use little pieces of newspaper for details. There we go, let's see if it stands. Looks pretty good. And here I can always like scrunch. That will make it more rounded. And there we go. In general, I need a piece of tape going along this section just to kind of keep that together. Now to make this even look more like a bear, I'm going to give it a little more tummy. Bears like to store all their honey and whatever they eat fish. So I'm going to get another piece of newspaper. And remember this, the form that I always recommend, the ball, the sphere, I'm gonna do that again. But I'm gonna flatten it a little more because I just want a small curve on my bear's belly. Get more pieces of tape.
So you can kind of see it's like a flatter um, sphere or circle. Great, not too bad. I'm gonna attach it to my bear and I'm kind of putting it more towards the back. See how that all like just changed it dramatically? And if it's a little too big, you just smush it down because I left myself some wiggle room. Go. Now you can also pull it a little tighter too with the tape and press it down. That also really helps shape it. Now I'm just gonna tape the rest of the tummy on. Coming up, I'm gonna show you how to um, create smaller details, such as the tail and the ears of the bear. So if you just wanna hang tight for one more minute, we'll get our tummy on our bear and we'll be moving along. Okay, now let's go for the details. I'm gonna start with the tail in the back. And remember all these little pieces of newspaper you just had? Well, I like to use them to make the details. And once again, we're gonna make that circle-y sphere shape, but um, at a smaller scale. I'm also probably gonna need smaller pieces of tape for my details. You can start big, um, like I'm gonna do and then like I just like to wrap it around and then break it off at the areas I don't need. That's a pretty good tail for a bear. I do, hmm, yeah that will work. I'm going to attach it right up here like this. That's about where the tail goes. Maybe a little lower actually, I'm gonna put it a little lower. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go across that tape to really make sure it's on. And I'm gonna then go kind of underneath the tail as well, just to make sure it stays. There we go. I see I need a little more um, volume, I guess you could say, in my bear's behind. So I'm going to add a little bit more right on top like that. Yep, that definitely helps. Same process as we've been doing all along, adding where we want more. I'm just gonna use my hands to kind of shape it a little bit more. There we go. Looks more like a bear. Make sure you're looking at it from all different angles, not just the top, but on each side. Because sculpture, we're working in a three-dimensional form. There we go. I actually don't like my tail, so I can take it off. I just want to add more of a little circle, a little bit bigger. That's too big, so I'm gonna rip some off. think working uh, the details are harder you know you don't get as much flow and opportunity to smush the paper the smaller you go there we go it's a much better tail There we go, much better tail. 
Okay, now let's go to the face. There we go. Um, let's see, let's do those ears next. And I do wanna just kind of flatten this part of the head so I can see a little bit easier what kind of shape we're working with here. And with that snout or nose area. Okay, well we definitely want some ears. So I like to just make ears. Another option is simply just folding the newspaper until you get like the desired shape or width as well. But when we fold, we don't have the kind of cushion. Ears are pretty flat and they're kind of rounded. So I'm gonna go with that. Wrapping my tape. I would say this is a pretty good ear. What I could do to make it better, I can always then kind of push down the corners to make it more of a rounded shape for the ear. And I have one side flat. This is how I'm going to attach this. So get some pieces of tape. I'm just gonna rip four pieces just to start us off here. Now I'm gonna apply the tape on the top and on the back but I'll do the top first. I want my ear right about there. And now I'm going to make like an L. And one side of the L goes on the back and the other goes on the body. And that is pretty secure. I can then take the tape and go across where I just taped as well. And that ear is on. Looks pretty good. Same thing again. I'm just gonna fold paper until I get my desired size and shape. Here's a little long, so I'm gonna cut it off. There, and it's okay. My ears aren't even, that's okay. Art does not need to be perfect. You just wanna make sure you're doing a very good job. So I kinda like it that it's uneven. It gives him character. Our bodies are not the same on both sides perfectly. So neither is my bear. Okay. Now, I could go in to add some further details if you want, or we can add them later when we paint and paper mache. I do want to thin up my legs a little bit because you can see the difference when I crunch it. Thank goodness for that cushion. I'm just going to then take my tape and I'm going to start at one place and I'm going to begin crunching the paper and then wrapping the paint for the tape really, really tight. I wrap the tape down here more so it gives part of the bicep of the bear and then a little bit for his paw to make it look a little more rounded. And I'll do the same more towards the back. There we go. I like it how my bear is uneven. It looks like how he's kind of walking. Alrighty, that is the basic form of using newspaper and tape. You have a couple options as the artist. You can cover it all up with tape, so making sure there's no holes in here and kind of these awkward areas. And you can then paint over the tape or you can paper mache over it. Awesome job. Thanks for watching.
everyone, today in this video we're going to be talking about paper mache and paper mache is when we take newspaper and glue and we start to layer it to make our form really hard and durable and kind of creates that nice finishing layer so then we can paint it. So this example I'll be doing a bear. Alright, here's how you use paper mache. You take a strip of newspaper and if they're a little longer you can just break them in half or in smaller pieces as you need them. You dip all the way into the glue water combination. Then I take some scissor fingers like this and I put them in between the newspaper and I pull down. So I'm putting my fingers on each side of the newspaper. Whoop! And I ripped. If you go too hard, that's okay. Um, actually, I can use that piece right there. It needs a little bit more glue. But if you pull too hard, that means that your paper will rip. So you don't need, it just kind of glides on and off that. Now I'm going to place it on my bear. I already placed a few strips so you can kind of see the difference here. And once I lay it on, I'm going to use my fingers and smooth the newspaper with the glue. That helps seal it into all the different cracks of our form. There we go. Now let's go back to this little piece that I accidentally ripped. Don't worry, still useful. I just need to get a little more glue on it with the scissor technique. You don't want too much glue. That's why it's really nice for the scissors to kind of um, squeegee off all that extra. I'm going to lay it, it actually fits perfectly in between my bear's ears. Once again, flattening it. There we go. Okay, ready for another piece. I always like to start with the top and kind of the main areas first, and then you can go into some of the tighter areas and details. Here we go. So I'm going to keep working on the back of my bear. There we go. And if your piece is long enough, it will wrap. I'll turn this so you can see it kind of underneath as well. You can make sure you're fully pressing it as best you can. It might peel off a little bit, but just keep working it with your hands and the glue. Here we go. There we go. All right, I'm gonna work some of my main areas and then um, I'll meet you back here for some of those more detailed areas. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about some of the tighter areas. They include like his little tail. The bottom of his feet I did last because I don't want it to start to glue and stick to the newspaper. Um, and also his head can be a little tight in some areas, especially those ears. Bears have really small ears, you know? So again, I'm gonna start with the head, but I'm gonna do the underside first. I think that's always a good approach. There we go. Now remember, you can kind of layer over other pieces of newspaper, so if it doesn't quite fit um, in that one section you're working on, you can just go where the newspaper flows and just kind of flatten it wherever it lands. That will get you really good layering and a strong, in this case, a bear. There you go. Now since I'm working in a smaller area, I might want to break my strips in half. I'll see how this piece lays. Um, there we go. Now see how it kind of, I just kind of let it naturally wherever it decides to fold and then I'm just going to push it down. Better to have too much newspaper on and layering than not enough. About pushing it all in his nose area, making sure it's flat. You don't want really any puckering 
then it'll be difficult to paint later. I'm definitely gonna break it into some smaller strips now. There we go, I'm gonna cover my ears. Hmm. We definitely need a strip going this way. And I can cover part of the ear going that way. So you kinda get two in one, depending how you lay your strips. If you get really good and really smart, now the ears are going to be difficult because they are small. So you're going to do your very best to get the newspaper as close to the shape as you can. We are working with tape and newspaper, so that is part of the challenge and nobody expects it to be perfect. Now I have so much glue on my hands, I'm just going to kind of lather it on the newspaper with what I have. And this one, I'm going to actually fold the newspaper kind of like this and have part of it underneath his ear and the other fold over the top. There we go. I'm going to fold, fold, and then I can kind of push down those corners. There we go. Now my bear's ear is covered on this side of it and this side. I do see a little spot here. So make sure all your spots are covered. There should be no tape or dry newspaper showing, especially tape. Okay, here we go. Let's check on that other ear. I gotta get a little more behind on this side. So I need a smaller piece once again. It's really nice when you have so much in your hands. I'm gonna come behind the ear. I'll move it this way a little more. Come behind the ear, just gonna wrap and fold and bring it down. There we go. Got a little spot left, but that's an easy fix. Just right behind his ear. At least I don't have to go on the ear. There we go. Let's talk about his little tail in the back here. Once again, just need a little piece that, oh, look at this, still got enough glue on my hands. This is messy, but that's okay. I'm going to wrap it right underneath and I can fold, fold around, and then I can tuck that end just under and I can just push it into shape and make sure it's sealed to the form. There we go. You just have one across his nose and then the bottom of his feet. Okay, here is my paper mache bear. And once this dries, it will harden and really keep its form. Then, once it's hardened, we'll have a nice layer to be able to use acrylic paint on and add all those details and it will look even more like a bear. Awesome, and thanks for watching. Happy paper macheing.